Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma, and also welcome to our 131st edition release. This is our second day of our sneaky peeks, and I'm super excited because we are showcasing three brand new die sets, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you those right now. So we have, I'm going to show you these two at the same time since they're the same, just one's bigger and one's smaller. So this is our brand new small uh, teacup die. This is a whole little die set, lots of little layers there. And then this is our medium size um, teacup die, okay? And I absolutely love, love, love these, okay? So I'm going to, I decided to because I did, I think I did too much. My back is like really killing me. I was going to try and show you how to assemble these, but we're just going to keep this video, this video short and sweet. What I decided to do is do a separate video um, and show you exactly how to assemble these and how all of the pieces go. It looks like a lot, but trust me, it's not. I just don't want it to overwhelm you. <laughs> it's super easy to put together, but I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to show you that in a different video because I think I kind of overdid it today. Um, so anyway, so that is, again, the medium teacup die set and then the small teacup die set. And then we also have a brand new tea kettle die set, okay? So super duper cute. So let me go ahead and show you my card I made. So with that one there, I actually use, let me grab something really quick. Um, okay, so for my very first card, I used all of our uh, brand new products here. This is what we showcased yesterday, the Time for Tea. This is the stamp and die set, okay? And then I also use both of our brand new paper pads. So I think, let me see what I use. I use from this one, um, this one's called Tea Time, and I use this page here, super cute. And then from, the, oh, and I also use this page here, okay, with the, all the little names of the teas in the background there. And then on the Islets Gingham and Solids, from this paper pad, I use just this color here, this pretty little coral color, okay? So I'll show you that card first. So I did a little circle card. Oh, let me show you what else I used for this. This is from my uh, my existing dice I have out already. This is my four inch circle card dies. And I use the actual base of this along with this here. And I have, this is back in stock, by the way, this sells out a lot. So I have these back in stock. Okay. So I use this here. Now our circle card add-ons has this perfect four inch circle that you could go ahead and layer on top of here because when you fold it, I never was like, I never liked that, that it's not a perfect circle. So that's why I designed this. So you have a perfect four inch circle and it goes perfectly on there. And I'll show you on my card in a minute. So these are the two items that are in addition to the new items. And these are my existing items already. I have these. These are in the store already, okay? Um, so anyway, so this is my super cute card. Now, what I did was I used these here. I have a little um, subscription to Buttons Galore. And this was in my last package. And I used the, I took out, I fished out all of the little pink uh, flowers because I thought that would look super cute in here. I'm not very good at shakers. So now this, you can turn the little, all three of the new sets you can turn into shakers, okay? And all three of the new sets also have this really pretty overlay die, okay? So as you could see, I kind of did lots of layering on this. And then I made a little, a little matte gold spoon, which is super cute. And that's the sentiment from the stamp set we showcased yesterday, along with the coordinating die that goes with it. And then I, oh, you know what I also used from this? What I did was I cut out in vellum this little scallop circle there. Because um, when I first put it on here, it looked really, really busy. So I, I figured I'd just kind of soften it up a little with that vellum. Um, and then I think it came out super cute, okay? So I did a little shaker. Now, I've seen, um, I've gone to a couple of tea parties and I've noticed that a lot of people do the little tea bags in the tea kettle. And then this way it's already, 
you know, ready for you. So I put the two little tea bags in the tea kettle rather than the cup this time. And I think it came out super adorable. Okay. So I absolutely love that. So that is that one there. Let me move these aside here. Oops, what am I doing? I don't need the paper there. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that there. And then my second one. Now this one, let me show you what I used first to create this one here. I use my three inch circle card dies. Okay. So I use that just I think for this one, I didn't use the perfect circle. Now, this one has the perfect circle to go with it. I just couldn't add it to my four inch. Otherwise, that, that die would have cost a fortune. And I don't, I try to keep my prices reasonable. So this one did include it. So I didn't use that. I only used the layer, the three inch circle card layer. And then I used my paper pads that I came out with last month. And I did sell out, but they're back in stock. So I'm so happy because... I was able, I wanted to, well, I actually, this next project I'm going to show you, I actually created that as soon as I got those dye samples in. So I used this paper and I was hesitant to show it to you because of course they were in stock at the time, but now that they are, I'm super happy. So I can show you the paper pads I use. So from this paper pad, this one's called Spring Gingers. I use, let's see trying to find the orange guy oh here it goes I use this page here with the orange script on it and then from this paper pad which is called the dots flowers and solids which let me see okay and I use this cute one that pretty little one with the little flowers on it so those those are the items oh and I also use from here the solid paper okay um all right, so let me go ahead and show you my card. Oh, and then I also use, sorry, I use this scallop piece right there, okay? So this one I kind of made different because as you could see, this is the little scallop portion is bigger than this, but I thought it would make a cute tag if I were to just go ahead and just put a little hole in there and just make it a cute tag. If not, you could keep it as a card, but I really like the way this came out. And this is, I wanted to show you how you could do the, this is the medium a teacup die how you could turn that into a shaker and i absolutely love my sentiments then in my stamp set that i sh that we showcased yesterday because they're the sentiments are perfect so this way if you don't want if you don't have an area to put it you go ahead and just put it right there with the use the coordinating die and it and it works beautifully okay so that is it my friends those are my projects using the um the brand new die sets in this release and again there's three sets i'll go to show it to you again these are the small teacup the medium sized teacup and the the little tea kettle okay so those are all of the die sets we showcase here today um so head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has created using this release using these brand new products and also don't forget to leave your comments on all of our blogs for a chance to win all three of these sets, okay? All winners will be announced on Friday at 8, this Friday, March 31st at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay, everybody? Okay, so thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Have a fabulous day, um, and I will see you all back here tomorrow for our third day of our sneaky peeks. Bye-bye. <laughs>